Good morning. Apologies. Apologies for yesterday. Predictably a migraine. Awful. Awful. Girlfriend got here Sunday, had a lovely day. Prepped for work Sunday night. I actually just started working Sunday night. She was knackered. She actually got up at 5 a.m. to get here because the, the, the taxi won't leave later than that. Because uh, Anyway. And then Sunday morning, woke up. It's really dark. At least I get the, the warning, so I'm straight back to bed. As you can imagine, Monday's a busy day at work. Excuse me, that's a bit better. Monday's a busy day at work, and uh, I just I could barely leave a message. I was like on my phone, like squinting, one eye open, too much light. Can't today, migraine. See ya. And just horrible, absolutely horrible curse. And then and then to add to that, the uh, the dreams I had last night dreams of friendships it was one of those dreams and it really reminded me of being like a teenager like everywhere you go there's people you know and they know your name and they know about you they know who you are and we are going to get on to america by the way don't worry there's not much else to talk about really we won't uh, we won't deal with um too much of my personal <laughs> existential breakdowns while the while the world is collapsing around us but you know, we've been talking a lot recently about concrete mechanics, concrete social mechanics of how we're atomized. And, um, you know, that's all gone. Those, those, um, those friendships, you, those group of friends you have at school and the groups of friends you have at university and even at work. You know, I was at university for seven years and I saw the way universities were changing from my first couple of years at university, it was very social. It was all about social. Monday night, this is what we do. 100 odd people turn up. Tuesday night, there's a gig in the bar. 100 people turn up. Wednesday, we've hired a coach. We're going to go down here. It was a real, it, you know, being, a, being an art student in 1987 was a social event. And not just the art students, by the way. There were other universities and colleges around mine. And, and people hung around in groups. People were socialized. Let me sort out my Twitch. I've just forgot. <laughs> One day off, I've forgotten what I'm doing. Let me get the Twitch and the grift sorted. And, and we will get on to America. Just waiting for a few more people to arrive. We've just hit 100, which is lovely. Hello, Ed. Hello, John. Hello, son of me. Hello, Nicholas. You like? Yeah, well, the, Mr. Rage, when it's first cut, that's how it looks. I mean, it ain't bad for a man who's has, has lost as much air as me. And at nearly 50, it, it don't matter. When you start losing it in your 30s, you're like, no, no. When you're nearly 50. I think I think 50-year-olds with those low hairlines look a little bit inbred. <laughs> There's something wrong with them. <laughs> a, a distinguished European man, of course you've got to lose a bit. But to still be able to go to the barbers and, you know, he does a good job, look. That ain't a bad bit of work is it hey can't knock that goes all around the ears gets a razor blade tidies up that that line there oh, oh lovely takes him an hour i've got about 10 hairs i don't know what he spends his time doing three dollars three dollars it is i'll give him 10 though i can't i can't give someone three dollars for an hour's work you know he spends about half hour just getting the fade sorted I'm like, mate, you crack on. I love it. It's like I go every two weeks. I, I love it in there. Here we go. It's like doing a bit of yoga. It's like an hour where I'm just being nice to myself. What do the ladies call it? The ladies have a name for it. Pampering. There you go. I'm just just a little bit of pampering. Sounds sounds a little bit homosexual though, doesn't it? When it's a bloke having a yeah, just pamper myself with a some bloke touching me here. <laughs> But no, I love it. I love it down there. And it's a laugh down there. They're all funny blokes. You know, there's about eight of them in there. But uh, one second, let me get Twitch sorted out. Old Rags is over there, I expect. Holding the fort. Keeping us out of trouble. I doubt this channel's got long left, you know, to be honest with you. After, about, after the 20th, and by this channel, I mean America. <laughs> Prepare yourself. 
American brothers and sisters. And by American brothers and sisters, I mean the rest of the world because, you know, America is the center of this corporatist cyclone we find ourselves in. Hang on, are they going to turn the lights out? Because I dared say that. Right, that's Twitch sorted out. Let's get, let's, let's earn a few quid. Let's get the old grift sorted. Don't tell me, you. this is unusual activity. We're going to send you a code. How are we getting on? You still here? Oh, oh, we blacked out slightly. Did you get the fear? And I think it is going to be like this as well. I think I think channels are just going to start disappear disappearing halfway through. Like Harry's. I mean, his channel's still there, but he was talking about he was talking about personal fitness. Ah, you can't. There's old rags over there suggesting that my receding is a solar panel for a sex machine. Ah, <laughs> well spotted. Let me just say hello to him over there. All right, mate. Oh, Bass Bassell is in there as well. Nice to see you, Mr. Bassell. Uh, right, sorry, people. Oh, this unusual activity. Well, I suppose I haven't done it for one day out of the last 400. <laughs> one, six, seven. Oh, better not tell you lot. Someone will log into my... Uh... <laughs> I'm not I'm not firing on all cylinders by the way obviously having a day off with the old mics I'm a bit and it's cold here it's 22 degrees here let me see what the current temperature is my google home thing stopped working by the way temp in nom and now 25 it's gone up a little bit but I woke up cold cold in Cambodia dot com <laughs> I can't believe it was cold in Cambodia what that wasn't the plan I don't oh. I don't put up with all the madness and third world <laughs> existence for the cold I put up with it for the heat for the heat of trees <laughs> hell on a spade quoting a little bit of Milton Babbitt there from Philomel the award-winning musical arrangement that I'm sure we're all aware of. And give me one in the chat if you've ever heard of Milton Babbitt's Philomel. Um, right, we go like this, we go like that, and we go like that. Oh, what a fact, it would appear I've blown a speaker. Did you hear that? Yeah, that's had it. Oh, hang on, maybe I've got my light leaning on my bass box. In <laughs> bass box, you wanna see it, is that that big? Let's try again. Ecoute, je repite. Joking me? Don't take long. Oh, you can only hold me down for so long. Right, we are back. Okay, so there's people saying it's minus two and minus four. So apologies, apologies, apologies. Okay, I, I, I get it, I get it. Right, nearly there. Um, no, it doesn't, Rufus. Sounds beautiful. Listen. Well, so that's how it usually sounds anyway, so I'm going to go with that. All right there. You can support this channel using the super chat function, which is a dollar sign just on the end of the chat down there. Alternatively, you could use Entropy, the link I've just put in the chat. I'm quite happy to sacrifice a few hours off my in-real-life job every day because people do throw a few quid at the channel and it works out lovely. Right, after all that housekeeping... When, when I'm talking about concrete social mechanics, it's all very well saying the globalists, they alienate us. The globalists, they atomize us. But we've been looking on this channel how they actually do that so that when you're in conversation with people, rather than talking in abstract terms that they're not going to understand, there's no point saying to a normie, um, the globalists have atomized our people. They're like, oh, yeah, you, you've lost it. You need to stay off of Facebook, which is what one of my best friends said to me. I don't even have a Facebook account. And he said to me, one of my best friends, 20 years, like, you know, he saved my life and I've saved his. No jokes, really. That kind of friendship. And he went, he went, yeah, he went, you're a racist and you need to stay off of Facebook. So you can't talk in those terms. You've got to talk about things they understand. Talk about ground level, concrete, 
mechanics and that's what we've been doing and that's another one that 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 you know like, like i was saying at seven years it's more like eight years really at art school and university i saw that whole situation change i saw i saw the way promotions money influence was was being put into dividing people into smaller and smaller groups until they're individuals you know i i my first my first year at art school all day every day i was with like seven or eight people you know staying over at theirs or we all went somewhere here then like i said there was days out there was nights put on in the bar everything was about socializing it was a social affair it was a social event being at uni by my last year i don't think i went I, let me just think let me just try and work this out i think i went around one person's house one person's house and that was after a night on the powder because he didn't know what he was doing he was all sped out of his head you want to come around for a cup of tea you know it was hardly a, a social event and so they've taken all that from us you know when i was growing up i've, I've lauded what a wonderful street i lived in but everyone knew everyone the adults had groups of friends the adults had you know that would have street barbecues would have street days out you know, my old man, my old man was friends with Mick, he was friends with Graham, he was friends with Les, he was friends with uh, Joe, he was friends with, um, what's his name, Pete. You know, these are all mates. This is as an adult male, having a group of friends that you could go down their house, chat with them, meet up, go to the boozer together, do things together. You're, you'll be hard-pressed to find that now. You're pretty, you'll be hard-pressed to find adult males with groups of friends in their community because they've stopped that they prevented it money has gone into other areas they promoted other ways of living you know you don't need to go out of the house right my vape died right check this out my vape died this this vape died the other one died this is my spare one with no battery casing so when it blows it will take half my face off with it so this morning i had to shoot over and grab an emergency vape off of the local vape dealer right <laughs> when i got there he said just pay me aba which is right instead of cash you can, i can use my cambodian bank account to transfer to his cambodian bank account and he went he went oh it's great the old aba he said you know that i used to have to do uh, this and that and and what he was complaining about was he used to have to go out used to have to go outside and and, and, and meet people we used to have to go outside and, and, and talk to people we used to have to socialize with them but yeah it doesn't have to do that anymore it's great you know he uh he uh can stay in his house yeah that ban hammer's come down on you you can't just write punctuation and think you're going to get away with that one um so yeah these are things that have actually happened they, you know this is where the what they've promoted they've promoted they, they just keep dividing let's get it down to the to the to the, the smallest indivisible market consumer which is the individual which was what the 80s were all about they that's what they promoted don't get married don't have a family don't socialize keep moving keep enjoying yourself you don't need to mature you don't need to grow up you don't need to take responsibility why why would you want to do that don't want to be like your mum and dad do you well, actually, yes. Uh, fish smell is nothing wrong with punctuation, but there was nothing else, mate. It was just it was just a few symbols and signs. That's what's wrong with it. There's uh, there's people here trying to have conversations. Hi, pal, keepsy Uno. <laughs> so you know that that whole idea that you know they one of the things they've exploited is a teenager's natural desire for rebellion. But a teenager's natural desire, and it tends to be male, really. The teenager's natural desire for rebellion traditionally is against the state. You know, you get to a teenager and you start thinking, hang on a minute, they've, they've had, I've been in their schools, I ate them. But they've quite cleverly, the, the corporations have quite cleverly exploited that natural rebellion and turned it against the parents. You know, not wanting to be like your parents is, 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 is such a tragedy because your parents done a good job. Your, parent, your parents were, were creating family, was 
created a family, which is the bottom line of uh, the bottom line of resistance is families. You know, children without fathers, children without mothers, they don't tend to do so well. They tend to cause problems. I know I was one of them. Families are strong. And the thing about a family, for a family to function successfully, it needs a community. And it will tend to find it. It will tend to create it. It will naturally predispose itself to community events. It will socialize itself. Because it's stronger like that. If you're just a family stuck in a street somewhere and you don't communicate with anyone, who's going to help you? Who's going to assist you? Who's going to, who's going to have skills that you can trade with? People used to come around my house and say to my old man, Oi, Alan, can you come plaster our bathroom? My old man would do it. Yeah, mate's rate. So if it was a small job, bosh, 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 no problem. Because my old man knew that a few weeks later, if someone crashed into his offside um, wing, which they did, this is a true story, not the best one I've ever told, Ed, be over there. Can you sort that out? The bloke, bloke, give us your keys. Drive it into his uh, paint shop. Come out. No, don't worry about it. Oh, you owe me a drink. Make, so, so families socialize themselves because they're stronger. And that natural, that, that, you know, we're social beings. You know, we can go back to that story I told you about the rat cage, the rat village. You put one rat in a cage, it eats the cocaine till it dies. You put loads of rats in a bigger cage with things to do, tunnels and things to gnaw on. Brothers, sisters, mother, father, doesn't go near the cocaine, go, drinks water. Doesn't want anything to get in the way of its socialising because it knows that that's its healthy existence. It knows it's better like that. You know, the more, the more European peoples, by which I mean Canada, New Zealand, Australia, America, etc., Europe, the more they pull away from um, communities, the more they pull away from families, this is the more addiction, the more addiction to substances, the more addiction to porn, the more addiction to obsessive compulsive behaviours, the more insanity, the more depression, the usual, the, the usual capers, you know, we're social animals. We're social. And that has been going on since time immemorial. It's only the 20th century. It's only when you get at the end of the Second World War when people started thinking, well, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. This power lark needs, needs getting taken into account. And look at America today. Look at America today. A handful of billionaires have just, have just stole the election. A handful of billionaires are just shutting down shutting people down they shut down the president of the united states they've done that it's against the law you know the, the mad thing about twitter facebook instagram i know that is facebook anyway uh, the mad thing about these people shutting the pre the sitting president of the united states off of their social networks that doesn't need new laws there's laws already in place that makes that illegal but do you know why they don't care because they don't have to care because lawmakers have given up. We've seen that with the hot potato of the fried erection, so to speak. No one wanted to go near it. No one wanted to go near it. Oi, take it to the Supreme Court. No, nah, you deal with it. No, you deal with it. Like a pinball machine. Dang, 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 dang. In the meantime, while, while, those, while those lawsuits are being ignored and avoided by compromised people, who are largely owned by the same billionaires that are shutting people out of social media, a transfer of power is happening. In the background, in the background, a transfer of power is happening. And not, not any transfer of power either. A transfer of power to, a, to, a, to an organisation that have already said they're pro-China. They're pro their economic and ideological enemy. Ah, what? Sticks calls in Beijing Biden. I mean, it's funny until you realize it's not a joke. So American people, our American brothers and sisters, who are our European brothers and sisters, old tight. Really old tight. Because this is going to be a, a cold, dark winter. And that, that's, this is just a fact. And, and, and come the 20th, I mean, Biden, I doubt Biden's even going to turn up himself. I doubt Biden. Why is Biden going to turn up? He's got no, he's got no, one, no one going to turn up to support him. No one supports Biden. 
But I tell you what, I spent I spent about four hours the other night off the clear net. Here we go, dark net diving. All this talk of the insurrection act. It's, it's, this is wishful thinking, okay? There's no signing the there's no signing the insurrection act. The insurrection act was signed in 187, right? There's no signing it. So as soon as you hear about someone saying and there's plenty of them out there. As soon as you hear about people saying uh, the Insurrection Act has been signed, yeah, 213 years ago <laughs> or 193 years ago, whatever it is, that's been signed. That means it now exists. What Trump would have to do was invoke it, and that hasn't happened. So don't get caught up in that one. I understand why you want that to happen. I would like him to do that. I mean, actually, skip that at martial law. Martial law is more powerful than the Insurrection Act. But to evoke the Insurrection Act, first, you've got to declare it. You've got to, you've got to say to the um, insurgents, you've got to name the insurgents and say to them, stop your insurgency, or I'll evoke that. And he hasn't done that. And people are saying, well, he has, he has, because he was on he was, uh, on the telly the other day saying, you know, calm down, get out. In a way, he has. And then you're like, oh, hang on. So now you want him to evoke the Insurrection Act against his own supporters. <laughs> Is that uh, what? So I think that's a bit, but, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go down that road. But they've got shot of Parler. Apple, Apple said to Parler, listen to this. Apple said to Parler, you've got 24 hours to propose to us your, your corporate overlords. What? Hang on. What? <laughs> you've got 24 hours to propose to your corporate overlords how you're going to moderate your platform. I mean, that for me, that's where this is where the real madness is. The real madness at the moment is a handful of billionaires that are now running what we can talk about. You know, the likes of, I can never remember his name. As soon as I see that little middle finger with a fringe, I, that little finger with a fringe, Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg, Dorsey. These people, absurd, absurd power. And, and by the way, they haven't actually got the power. They're lying. They're, they're breaking the law. What they're doing is illegal and unconstitutional. And this is why this is such a problem. This is why this is such a problem, because what they've done is already against existing laws and it's already unconstitutional. And they don't care. Why don't they care? Because because it's going to Beijing Biden and they're, you know, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. None of those people are going to fight it. No one's going to take them to court. Trump could. Trump could. Trump could take these people to court and they'd win, they'd win all day long. You've broken the law. This is against antitrust laws. You're not allowed to do that. They'd be throwing money around like you've never seen. But they've blatantly broken the laws. There's antitrust rules in place to stop that. Happening. You know what? This is America. This is the greatest country ever. And, and and they they've banned the sitting pre standing president of the United States. <laughs> what? Now I, I I laugh, but I'm laughing at the hilarity of it. I'm laughing at the vulgarity of it. But I'm telling you, man, there's a dark, a long, dark, cold winter ahead. The first signs, the first signs of a, of a reversal will be the 2020, 2022 primaries. I mean, people are talking about, excuse people are talking about there being armed, armed rallies in 50 states. I'd be so careful about getting involved in any of that. I'd be very careful about getting involved in any of that. Because if, if that if that does happen, if that does happen, if there is armed 
rants in 50 states, which is what is being talked about. On the dark web, that's all that's being talked about. Me up here, do this. That's not going very well. That's not going to go very well. Whatever happens, you know, those albums are awful. I'd be very, I'd be very concerned about being part of that. And you, and you know what's mad about all this on top of all the madness I've just piled up there? The madness of all this? The left, the left, the left, the left are supporting this. The left are supporting all the censorship. The left are supporting a handful of billionaires censoring people. And I promise you, you've seen nothing yet. After the 20th, lights will be going out everywhere. <laughs> Channels, <laughs> people gone, unperson, deperson, blah, 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 blah. Because they realised, they realised with Trump, who is now more popular than ever, by the way. Go and have a look at the Rasmussen poll. He's now popular than ever. They realised that they were actually threatened. Their, their grip on power was actually threatened there for four years. And the only way they could take it back was a coup. This has been a coup. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows this has been a coup. And, you know, I, I like to be optimistic. I like to be hopeful, and I am. And I, and I really am. Because the whole MAGA thing, the whole Trump thing, for me, was an optimistic thing. And amidst, amidst a terrible enemy, amidst a terrible enemy, and I think it can happen again. But it's going to get dark. It's going to it's going to get darker before it gets lighter, and I I really think so. And we need to hold tight. We need to stay strong. And the the, the, the mad thing about the left, it's just absurd. It's just absurd that they are behind. They support this corporate coup this corporate censorship that's the new left <laughs> that, what what the authoritarian left it's all about the workers well the corporations but you know what we mean we we say the workers because we haven't got a clue what we're talking about anymore <laughs> Literally not a single donation. Maybe you're just totally engaged in my incredible content. <laughs> you know, that, that, this is the, hello, Sarah. This is the mad thing. The left, the, the, the left, the people who went out into the streets and looted Target, looted Walmart, set things on fire, attacked Rittenhouse, just set America on fire. A handful of people are ushered into the Capitol building. Oh, oh, what? What? How dare they? <laughs> they? They let America burn. They let America burn. They went. They went walking around us people's houses. You, you give us your house. Give us your property. <laughs> Five hundred people walk in to the Capitol. Fucking hell, what is going on with the Nazis? What is going on with the fascists? Come on, why doesn't why doesn't Beijing, Biden, and the rest of the corporate overlords do something about this? No, nice one left. Nice one. You've lost it. You people are the you are history's most sheepish sheep. Shocking. Anyone who's got any any time or dare try and defend what has just happened in America, anything to do with Biden, anything to do with the BLM or Antifa riots is off their fucking mind. They are literally supporting a handful of billionaires from, from, from Silicon Valley who have just affected a coup for the, for the transfer of power to a pro-Chinese government in America. How do you, how, how do you, how do you resolve that in your head? How do you defend that position? 
How? I just don't know how you resolve that. You leftists, you're on the side of the corporations. You're on the side of big tech. That's what you're doing. That's who you are. Nyeh. Orange man, bad. Well, he might not have been perfect, <laughs> but you're about to get what you you're about to get what you supported right up your ass. And don't think they're gonna. Oh, you were you were on their side. No, you supported them. Don't, no, don't hurt me. Don't attack me. Don't censor me. I've been supporting you. Crazy. Absolutely insane. Trump's been the best president in America since Reagan, without doubt. No competition. Thank you for that flurry of super chats. I will deal with those now. The left. <laughs> They're just not very clever because they have, they've been educated by the same people. The, the same people that funded their education funded all this. That's why. Martin Davis, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. Today's today's. Thank you very much. I was just thinking about donating. Oh, you did, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Elation, nice one, Elation. I don't think I've seen you here before. Maybe you're a lurker, but uh, that's much appreciated. Thank you. Did I say thank you to today's today's? Nice one, Ed. Let the money begin. <laughs> oh, that was good timing, wasn't it? Cheers, Ed. Brian, hello, mate. Getting blackpilled, fake outrage, and everything else. Getting blackpilled, fake outrage, and everything else. I don't understand. Give me a, you don't have to donate again. Let put that in other words, in another thing, and I'll read it. But thanks for the don donation, Brian. SB, there you Oh, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, European housewife. We'll be talking soon. Well, I think there was another couple there. Hang on a minute. One second, people. Hello, Dawn. Making dinner. Don't listen to that. Alien. No, no, he's off his head. He's off his head. I mean, he, he, he plays a good game, but yeah. The left have done a one. They, they don't, I don't even think they've done that. They don't know what, they don't know who they are. They have no, they have no cohesive art position or argument. They can't. They support the corporations. They support the silencing coup-making corporations. It's, a, it's, anti, it's, it's against the Constitution. It's illegal. And they're supporting it. And, and I, thanks, Dawn, for the donation. I don't know why. I do not know why. Thank you, Margin. Big globalist companies equals big globalist government. There you go. Simple as that. But listen... Let me ask you, people, and I, I want your... Where did Brian answer me? I wanted to see what Brian was talking about. I think he was making a good point, but I couldn't, I couldn't work it out. Oh, balls, I can't find it. Too big. Um, Clark's Undercover Army. Clarks, did you change your name to just Clarks, or was that someone else? Because for a while there, there was someone called Clarks, and I was I was calling them Clarks, and I was thinking, is that Clarks uh, for, of undercover army fame? And I wasn't sure. But anyway, Clarks, undercover army, as we know and love him, said this. Entropy now gets put on the screen, by the way, people. I've decided it's unfair otherwise. Class drops a cockle and he said, at work, just listening. Glad you're better. Send you a thing on email. Hmm, it's long, but interesting. Maybe for another show. Uh, haven't been near me emails. I'll have about 150 now and about 50 work ones. So, yeah, that was uh, migrained off. Nice one, Clarks. Clarks. I don't know why I'm enjoying saying Clark so much. Thank you very much, mate. Well, that was all very kind. Yeah, yeah, yes. Another another great point. Where's that? Where's that? Hang on. This is the other point, and we haven't even gone here. We haven't even gone to the, the, the Dem. The Democrat Party is having its own internal civil war. I, I've never known in my long, my advanced vintage, I've never known a Democrat Party so divided. You talk about lack of unity in America. This, look at that. 
what? <laughs> they're they're, they're going to tear themselves apart. Of course they are. But listen, is I'm sorry if you've already answered because I I am a bit I'm not functioning on, on full cylinders today. Parler is taking Amazon to court, and so they should. Trump should take them all to court. Trump should take Twitter to court, Facebook, Instagram, take them all to court. And I think he probably will. Right, here we go. Left wing air proxy five. Um, there you are. There you go. There you go. That was, that's what your point was. You were referring to those people. You were answering my question regarding why the left do what they do. Yeah, nice one, Brian. I, I, I wasn't, I couldn't work it out. Um, right, listen, listen, people, answer me this question. You know what, Gaffney, she is. Isn't, isn't she one of the most dislikable people? We haven't even come here. We haven't even got to this fucking impeachment. What? What? Impeachment? Why? Based on what? Pelosi's, if you don't know people, Pelosi's calling for impeachment of Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, go on, crack on. Are you going to wear a clown nose? And <laughs> this is the American government. This is the government of America. You know, the pro Chinese. You know, they're economic and ideological. Oh, I forgot to say last time, and military opponents. Biden's outright said it. Old Beijing Biden outright said, I am pro China. Good. Oh, why? What? What? Diversity or inclusion? <laughs> no, come on. Come on in. No, yeah, I've had manufacturing. No, you'll be all right. No, forget the tariffs. <laughs> forget about all what that Trump done. Sort of, you know. <laughs> why would you do that? So, listen, here's my real question. Here's my real question. Here's my real question. And I mean this, and I want you to give me some real answers. How, how do the left defend this? Uh, it's not rhetorical. I, I don't know. I want you to tell me. How do the left defend being left at the moment in the States? How can you? How, how, how can you defend uh, Silicon Valley? How can you defend the, 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 the coup that's just occurred? How? There you go. That's it. They're not they're non-player characters. That's it. They they just they just they're just walking shells of people. Yeah, yeah, Rags, we had his official we, we, we debuted his official statement on this channel. <laughs> they make a weird screeching noise. How can you support the left? No, but I get that. I get that, Mr. Smith. But how do you defend being a leftist? Now, if you're a leftist, how do you defend all this? How do you defend uh, the censorship of big tech for a start? They've banned the president of the United States from talking. This, there's already laws in place to stop that. You, it's, it's, you can't do it. You're not allowed. It's illegal. But no one cares. And why? Why would you think a why would why would you think a government full of people or a kaching on the same being being kept up by the same people, the same Silicon Valley people, kaching the same handful of billionaires? Why are they going to do anything? The law, the law is failing. The law is ceasing to matter because Trump is so bad. Trump is such a threat to what to them just to them they've made it they they've managed to make it they they've cast him as such a dangerous person that the left have given up on democracy the left have given up on law and order because trump is so dangerous oh it, democracy doesn't matter freedom of speech doesn't matter no it doesn't censorship is good because he's so dangerous don't you know? Haven't you been watching CNN?
absolutely absurd. And I'm telling you, I, I, it's going to be a, a cold, dark winter for America. And it's going to start on the 20th. Oh, Moslab, isn't it gross? Just that saving us from ourselves. Yuck. You know, I've lived through, I mean, look, Reagan, Reagan was probably the last president that I was old enough to sort of understand was doing quite well, actually. He was doing quite well. But then Clinton, Clinton was just, Clinton was like, Clinton, Clinton left a trace on history, like, like a stain, you know, Cigars, Monica Lewinsky, lying, saxophone, your horrific wife. And then W. And then Trump, 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 Trump was amazing. Trump was amazing. What a thing to happen. It was like, it was, it felt like the American dream. It felt like America was, was like this bastion of freedom in the world again. Mm -hmm something positive and exciting and, and 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 working people got behind it working people went to the to the voting booths working people started wearing political hats it was like exciting and and he, and he was talking about doing this and doing that and 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 you know if you think he failed listen to david duke listen to what david duke says about him it's very interesting because you can't do everything. You can't. The, the, the political system in America is set up to stop too much radical change. That's why you have an House and a Senate. Trump didn't incite anyone. That's absolute bullshit. Absolute bullshit. He did not incite anyone. I mean, you struggle to find the video now. Reagan was uh, brilliant and funny, yes. What's his classic quote? It's not that they don't know anything. Uh, what is it? Who, who can remember it? Yeah, hang on, I'll drag it up. Yeah, this is it. The trouble with our liberal friends is not that they're ignorant, it's just what they know is that, ah, the trouble with our liberal friends is not that they're ignorant, it's just that they know so much that isn't so. <laughs> In short, it's not that they're stupid. It's just everything they know is wrong. <laughs> awesome. Absolutely awesome. Thank you, Gaffney, for that donation. And I agree with you, and he was. And in many ways, he... he, he and I remember the propaganda then. I can remember my old man calling it out. I, I remember my old man calling it out. All that, all that um all the cold war stuff you know what a time what a time to be the uh the the president of the united states in the midst of the cold war yeah jared what a ooh, yeah they're, they're, ooh. oh no for sure liam i was talking about bush one bush two shocker shocker That's what happened, Rags. That's what happened. Someone said Cullen had got taken down, so I pinged him a message live, and he sent back a, a like a, an official statement. It was all quite sad, really. But but he, Cullen, listen, and this is where we get, and this is where my channel does what it does best, because this ain't this ain't over. It's never over. It's never. Th these things don't just end. Trump doesn't just stop. It won't happen like that. Trump has got so many options now. He's got legal challenges. He's got he's got he's got the ability to set up media firms. He can now spend the next four years tearing this government to pieces. And and let's not forget technology changes. Technology changes. Look at Bitcoin. 
Look at Bitcoin. What's it? What is it now? It took a dump the other night and then it went back up to 36,000. Let's have a quick look at what Bitcoin is. Currently $35,820 for one, right? Right? So that is new technology that has been it that has been invented based on new technology to change things. And I'm telling you now, this grip that seems so strong on on uh, on social media. It's old. It's old technology. Yeah, I did see uh, Arnold. What a terrible shame. He's just looking after his own investments. It, Arnie, terrible. What a shame. I, I, I've, I've talked about Arnold Schwarzenegger on this channel, bigging him up for all the amazing achievements he's done. But now he's just looking after his own arse. Simple as that. You know, bye, 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 Schwarzenegger. But listen, listen. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, it's old technology. It's old. And people will be inventing new technologies because that's what people do. And they will, be invent they will be inventing new technologies, which means the way we, the way we conduct our social media is going to change. And when that happens, much like Bitcoin, the old guard, I mean, Facebook is, Facebook is what people's parents did now. You know, it's already, the, the Twitter lost, eight, I think, 8 billion. <laughs> 8 billion. Twitter's yesterday's social media. New forms will arrive with new technology. And uh, absolutely that. Absolutely that. And this is why Pelosi wants him impeached. So he can't stand again, so that he's kept busy legally. And I would advise you all get off Facebook. If, you, if, you, if you've got a business that you run on Facebook, I've, hands up, I've got a business account on Facebook. I don't write on it or read shit. It's a business account. But if you, if you go on Facebook for social media, get off it. I've got a Twitter account so I can shield my novel, but you can't see me on it. It's deactivated. I reactivated every 30 days. That's it. Just so that it's not gone. So when my novel comes out, I can go buy my novel and then deactivate it again. You don't need to be on these platforms anymore. If you're passive there, if you're, if you're, if you're putting videos and stuff on there, fair play. But if you're passive, why bother? There you go. There you go, Shell. There you go. <laughs> Knox in Curie says, oh, hang on, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Yeah, look. <laughs> My face rises from the grave. <laughs> <laughs> to challenge Facebook and Twitter, that would be fun. With what's his name? That geezer, what was it? Jack. Jack from uh, MySpace. No problem. If you use it, no problem. But if you're just a passive consumer of it, and and look, and Smith, that's what I'm saying. I get that. Listen, everyone, I get that. I also have got people that I've got, I've got uh, business colleagues I talk to using Facebook Messenger, but technology is changing. They're all slowly appearing on Telegram. And once they're all on Telegram, yeah, yeah, you can guess the next bit. Demography Now says, holy shit, I thought we all knew Trump was just a vessel, a flawed one. He's a sinking ship and doesn't care about us. Well, well done. You're, you've, just, you've, you've just done exactly what the left-wing media do. I mean, give me some examples. G give me something more than he's not our friend. You've just said orange man bad. Okay. Ooh. Thanks. Thanks for your, your, your contribution. Oh, by the way, people, I think I think people have moved in upstairs. I'm absolutely gutted. They want they want to hear their footsteps. Wanna be able to walk around making a noise all through the day and the night. Vincent James just been banned from D Live. Um, D Live never pretended to be a, a free speech platform. I don't know why everyone has been talking about it like it is. The only reason people are 
Sorry about that, AZ. You, do you want the entropy link? You can always try there, but don't drive yourself nuts, obviously. I'll put the entropy link in the chat. Sorry that you can't. <laughs> maybe for, maybe YouTube. I wouldn't be surprised. Thank you, Mr. Forks. That's, uh, uh, thank you very much. Yes, Jared, but that will change. That will change. There's new technologies. Facebook and Twitter run on old, old technologies. They're, what, 10, 15 years old? Get on the blockchain. Get on the blockchain. You know, people have been scared about setting up um, alternative media sites. I, know, I mean, I know they said, you don't like it, make your own. Then you make your own, you get shut down. But um, now there's new technologies. Now there's new new options. There'll be there'll be actually new ways of communicating. And they'll when, when technology comes about, it comes about to solve problems. New technology offers solutions to problems. And anyone involved in all that lark at the moment, they're thinking, what's the problem here? What's the problem? The problem is you're reliant on Amazon or you're reliant on Apple or you're reliant on the Google store. How can we make things so that people can access these things easily without being reliant? That's the problem. And the new technologies will offer those solutions. This is that is a good thing. Thank you, Mousecat. Appreciated. If that is your real name. Hello, Linda Hunter. I read White Fang by Jack London on the weekend. A beautiful story and a testament to the spirit of the US. Decent folk everywhere are praying for America. Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, thank you, Linda, for the donation and for your excellent sentiment. I think what is really relevant here is, again, look at the Rasmussen poll. Trump is more popular than ever. And regardless of what you think of Trump, that is, it's a symbol of freedom. It's a symbol of resistance. And this, this furious, this furious flailing, you know, anti-illegal against the Constitution censorship that's going on, this is like the last bastion for these arseholes. They're trying to shut the internet down. Get opposition off the internet. You... Shut them down because they're finding out. They're sussing us out. They're working out how it works. The internet, it came about 30 years too early for those fuckers. If the internet had come out in 10 years' time, this would all have been over. This would have been over 20 years ago. But it came out just in time. And that's no accident. It's no accident because, again, solutions come out of problems. And people saw what the problems were, and they created solutions. They got busy. We got busy on YouTube, got busy on Twitter, got busy on Facebook, used their technology against them. And those liberals, those leftists, they started scratching their head. They didn't think this was going to happen. They thought, they thought there'd be a handful of neo-Nazis, uh, and the rest of the people would have been um, educated out of resistance. But that ain't what happened. The truth is, most people want freedom. And we go back to what I was talking about right at the beginning. We're social animals. We want families. We want communities. And to have families and communities, you need a strong and free nation. And that's why these people will never win. They will never win. They can have time. They're going to have the next two years at least. But it ain't going to be easy for them. It won't be easy. This this will be a nightmare for them. If you think if you think uh, that Trump had it bad, wait. Give it give it two months now. Hang on. The twentieth could cause problems. The twentieth will be exploited for more illegal activity, more censorship, more more acts and laws passed, more Patriot Acts, etc. So that could be a problem. That could be a problem. But, you know, we, the, the, the freedom doesn't go away. The resistance doesn't go away just because, um, just because Beijing Biden's in there. 
No, it ramps up. It attracts more people. It gets bigger. It gets stronger. Margin Walker, thanks for that score. When I am weaker than you, I ask for your freedom because that is according to your principles. When I'm stronger than you, I take away your freedom because that is according to my principles. A quote from June. A nice one. Fair point as well. Thanks for that donation, Margin Walker. That's very kind. And you've already given us one as well. Trump just tweeted about Pelosi on Team Trump News. I don't know how legit that is. I'm not saying it isn't. I'm, I'm literally saying I don't know. I know that he's locked out of real Donald Trump. That's gone. Uh, I know that he's been locked out of the POTUS account, which is meant to be for the president. Twitter reserve it for the president. It's empty. What? What? No one's president? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Stick Sticks calls Jack Dorsey. He calls him Adolf Twitler. <laughs> and I tell you what, I tell you what, I know that I know that old uh, I know that old Stitch is a bit of a a bit of a libertarian, but he's on he's on this stuff. He's worth watching, really. He is worth watching at the moment. You can get all. I'm a nationalist, but. He knows what's going on. He's actually right on it. Okay, AZ. He got there. I I do I do check entropy regularly, AZ. So it wouldn't have got missed. But thanks for the heads up. I will now put it on the screen because that's what I do nowadays. Hang on. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> right. Um, Bosch, Bosch, Bosch. I hope they don't move in upstairs. I mean, of all the problems I'd like to have, I can take that one, though. AZ says, who here has been spurred to do something? Trump and recent events have sparked something in me. I cannot sit on my ass anymore. We need to do something. Ideas. You know what? You've just done something. You've just done something saying that. And carry that on in your life. You know, talk to people. Say that to people. Share the message. Tell them what's happening. But but keep it keep it reasonable. Don't go in with all the knowledge you've got. Just talk about simple things. You know, it's quite basic, really. You know, if you know a leftist or someone at work or whatever, watch yourself. Don't get yourself in any trouble. But just say, didn't do you think that's a bit bad that the these 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 companies, these corporations, can actually just ban the president? They've just they've just taken him off all their all their platforms, and that's actually illegal. You know, just 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 have those conversations at this level. That's enough because if many many people do that, things start changing. The base of resistance grows, and then people are ready when they're required, and you'll know what to do when. When, when you're needed, don't worry about that. And that's not me supporting violence. I, I totally abhor political violence. Nice one for your donation, AZ, and thank you for trying countless times. That's proper annoying. <coughs> Stephen Campbell, thank you, mate. I try not to be too optimistic about the short term. We should, in our private lives, be thinking about keeping our lineages going over the next hundred years. Without doubt, Stephen, that's what my channel largely is. I just realised today that if I didn't talk about the larger, the bigger picture in America, it would be unfair to my viewers. I think that's a fair point because I, all I go on about is family, is is community, is personal growth making yourself financially independent, you know, presenting yourself well. You know that, Stephen. You're a high-ranking inner sanctum scrub. But today, I think, because of the extent of this coup, it, it needed talking about. But don't worry. We'll soon go back to the things we know that are important on the bottom line. In many ways, you just answered AZ's question. You know, we need to be the example we want to see. Because when you do that, you inspire people. 
So fair point, Stephen, but I hope you understood my reply as well. SB, I don't know what gotta acute means. Gotta go? Grandson wants eggy bread and bacon. Oh, make me some. <laughs> Can you not just knock me some up here? Oh, I might have to have some. Have I got any eggs? Oh, man, there's new people moving in upside. They're walking up there now. Oh, bloody family. Shit. Who'd want to live up there? It's a shithole. It's so small. The kitchen, you can't make anything in that kitchen. It's all right for me. <laughs> It's all right for someone like me. She looks like a sort of a young bird. Don't live there, woman. They must have, they must be so skint at the moment because of the, the border closure that they've dropped the, the rent down to about 50 quid or something. Ah, <laughs> oh, Scoot. Good call, Grim FPV. That's, there you go, Pants Langford. That's exactly my point. Uh, that was the question I asked earlier. How do you defend what's happening? How do you defend this? I don't know how they can. And yet they are. Hello, Leden. <laughs> You've come an hour and three minutes late. Because <laughs> I'll tell you what's happening very shortly. I've got to do two days work in one day. Tell them about the rats. <laughs> yes, a family of drummers, don't you dare. It looks like a young hot bird, actually, but she's mental if she lives there. Hopefully, I mean, we had some people look at it yesterday. There's already been people in there this morning. I hope that, I hope that they've just started advertising it and they've lowered the rent, but no one's going to move in there. You know, when I had all that water coming through my ceiling, not the, from the rain, when it flooded up there, well, it's got a wooden floor up there, and it used to be nice and sort of like orange, like stained and varnished. But because it sat in three inches of water for about three hours, it took that off. And so now it's like, it's almost, it's almost like driftwood. It's like sort of, what is it? That sort of like almost a grey wood. And all of, the, all of the floorboards have got a slight concave about them. You know, it's like... <laughs> You've got to be desperate to move in up there. I, 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 I don't want anyone. And, and the no, hello, hack sixty one. Hello, mate. Hello, history bro. Professional cloggers. For fuck's sake, thanks everyone. Mister Rage has got to go to another GP appointment. Nice one, man. Be careful about them medicating you. You seem to be doing all right. Take care, my friend. Stay strong. Orange floor bad. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? That's the problem. But about everything, even about things that are blatantly obvious. Uh, the annoying thing about the flat upstairs is it's actually above my bedroom. So that, see that there? See that door there? You can see the wardrobe inside. That's my bedroom. And the flat upstairs is above it. <laughs> Hopefully they're not having any sex. I don't want to be getting in a bed. And <laughs> although having said that, they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna get in here for. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Just keep them coming, people. Just keep them coming. Okay, here we go. Just before I go upstairs neighbors you could possibly have a drum teacher it's a drumming teacher in it so there's two drum kits hello love no i know i hope no one moves in no nah, you don't want to move in up there the second time i've been up there today how are you love come here good to see you go on <laughs> right people i have to go uh mr freely all the youngsters wear masks out here they've been wearing them out here. youngsters was a bit dodgy she's 23 they've been wearing them out here from long before the covid it's like a fashion thing or something 
<laughs> right, people. Uh, I've got to shoot now. Oh, yeah, I think I think they've moved in. You know. I don't know. Not nice, eh? <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Okay, we'll start talking. Hang on, darling. Leave me arm. Leave me arm. Right, people. It's been an absolute pleasure. We, it was a bit heavy today. We I kind of went for it. This this will be my final point. My final point on the subject. Thank you, Tony. That's very kind of you. And she, I agree with you. Tony says you're looking very beautiful. Thank you. Tony. He said, "Sir, clang now." Oh, he said, "Clang now." Um, this is this is this is my closer for today. We don't live in the future. We don't live in the past. I say this regularly because it's true. Your life is here now. There might be some dramas on the 20th. That might happen. And I think America is about to enter a very cold and a very dark winter period. I, I just think it is. But that doesn't mean it's over. That means the resistance grows. And it's always darkest before dawn. Remember that. And take care of people and take care of the people you love. And I'll see you probably about three o'clock UK time this afternoon. Take care. Ta-da. All the world loves a lover. All the girls in every land of man to know. Joy of loving is to live in the world of man. There's someone who's waiting for you. Soon the world will be yours for a time. Music starts to play, night will turn to day. Darkness disappears when the one you love is near. You're in man All the world loves the lover. All the girls in every land of men to know. Joy of loving is to live in the world of man there's a place that is waiting for you, a world where the best in life is free, where time is always spring, happiness is king, dreams you dream come true, when the one you love loves you, you're in man. All right there. Take care, people. Don't forget, you've only got now. And we can win this, because we can always win it. That option is always open. But staying strong and not being demoralised is the first act. You do that when you get out of bed. I'll see you at 3 o'clock UK time. All the world loves a lover. All the girls in every land of man to know. Joy of loving is to live in the world of man to Yeah, I might delete this, but I'll give it a few hours first. Come on, people have got to watch it. Take care, people. There's always hope.